think I'd rather be dead than have to suffer through doing these puzzles for the rest of my life. Not that they're bad, but it's just... I don't think... I don't think the game holds up even as a 10-year anniversary. Uh, you know, game. I think it was, like, dated when it came out, and it's just... Uh, it doesn't click with me as well as the other puzzle games do. It's okay. But not my favorite, that's for sure. I mean, I, I like and don't like the re-design uh, aesthetic of of it being Cube 2 styled at the same time. I feel like it somewhat takes away from the original, like, atmosphere. But it just looks a lot better with the Cube 2 style. The hell do I even have to do here? <laughs> I guess it's the green cube I gotta get attached, right? I can't tell. Is that gonna... It's not the same level, is it? No, it's not even on the same line. Okay. Got it. Where does this even go? Oh. Well, I guess that might have been the way to get that, so let me... ...redrop it and try to... ...get on it, I guess? I don't know how that was gonna work. I don't think I have the headspace for it, but... Yeah. Oh, I should have stopped it before it gets there. That makes sense. Yeah, stop it before it goes across, just so it's down there. It's hard to judge, though. Never mind, it was the easiest puzzle in the game. Alright, now let's try to get the actual puzzle done here, because I am confused. Could I just pop it up with the with the blue one if I do the same thing I did before? I try to just time it to where it drops onto it. Maybe. Oh, it doesn't line up with it. Well, that makes sense, because I was like, wow, that's really easy. I think I can be done with this one. Oh, I was trying to land it on that. Oh, that wasn't even lined up. My perspective got warped there. I was going to land on this. Wait, could I just... So this going to pull it constantly. Would it break open this door? That'd be pretty funny, because... I've been trying all kinds of things. Oh, wow, it is. Oh, you. You're stuck in the corner. Alright, let's get you that way so we can get him out. Oops. See, I thought I had to get the green cube attached, but now that I gotta get him attached, that changes it. I guess I gotta drag him into that. And not the green cube? Oh, that doesn't even go over. What if I hit it with blue instead? Oh, you go all the Oh, I could have just did that. I'm dumb. Made that the most complicated way you could possibly do it to get that door open. <laughs> That's so... I kind of pisses me off that I missed that.
What if I just drop it and then get rid of it? Not with that. Well, not with that either. That ain't gonna work. Well, maybe it would have worked. Drag it out. And switch it to that. Okay, if I put it back one... I think that might have worked. Then I could have that there. It'd be stuck in this little thing, so then I guess when it comes forward... I don't know. I'm struggling on this one. Let's just try that and see what happens. Now what happens whenever I turn the gravity on then? Does he just... Oh, he gets dragged over in a really weird... A really weird way. See, it's this part that's confusing me. Like, what is this even for? Because I... He has to be the one to get caught in that. Which... Actually, what do I need to need the lasers for as well? It's confusing. Is it... Do I have to get this open first? Or is it... Is this to leave? And that's just like an extension of the puzzle? That, that seems like... More of what it would be like. So, you know what? I'm gonna go back to my... Plan that I was doing... I think I was on to something with that. Oops. Now he comes towards this. So do I switch it to blue? So go right over that and then I can turn the magnet on. Maybe he'll get caught in that. But I can drop him in that little section. Now maybe I do this again. So I can have a cube inside of here to maybe change his course. I don't know where I'd have to put it though. Oh wait, his direction did change when I turned that on. That doesn't seem right. I mean, I could have just put green here too, that's another thing. But if I turn this on, is it going to pull the stuff back? No, that's just that way. Okay, just because it's behind it doesn't mean it's going to drag it that way. Right, just to double confirm. Yeah. So I was thinking if I get it to go that way, then I could he'll get here and then turn and I can make this blue and he'd hop up into the... Uh, Thing there, so it didn't work either. Is there any way I can, like, get him to do that? Oh, wait. Do that. So now we turn this on, so it pulls it back, and then... Okay, 
into that. Okay, see, there's... I can rotate. Just rotating that, though. What is... What is that for? I can't tell if there's anything back there in that corner or not. It's hard to tell how dark it is. What else can I rotate? Just this. Am I missing the the dropper for that? Somewhere? Have I just not seen it? Unless maybe it's over there? I don't even know how I would swing that into there. I guess I could rotate that. Yeah, it's right under it. But why? See, this thing is still bugging me. It has to be the green cube, but I just haven't used it yet. Will you shut up? Just non-stop noise in my ears as I try to think of how to solve this. Okay, so let's say I do green. Does that line up with it? Or is it the middle one? That's... That's the middle one. There's no way I can catch that on its way down, like, quick enough to turn that on. I'm trying to just catch that, that height is stupid. Could I get it to land on this? Yes, I can. Do I use this, pop it up, and try to time it? How about that? Would the, oh, would the height of the first one reach it? Yes. Wait, so now I can turn it the other way. The magnets. Why? But why? <laughs> let me do the same thing again. But put this here for like maximum height. Yeah, it literally just pulls it up to the, the height it started with. Maybe drop it there. One block too far. So maybe I could have rotated it. And then popped it up, and then turned the magnet back on. I think that was it. Yeah, that seems about right. He's behind enough. Oh, there it is. I just wonder where the hell that was. Okay, let's turn this off. I gotta figure out how the hell I would even... I mean, I'd drag it through. And it would just land on that, I guess. I'll try it. Worst that could happen is I redrop it. It's not very far away. It's not even lined up. That's the wrong side. 
Is there any angle I can rotate this that it will line up through here with this? Yes. So I need to do green. Maybe even just red would work. Oh no, it's gotta have be stacked on something. So it has to be there has to be green on top. How would I get green on top? Maybe I could use this as well. Because when it, if I rotate you all the way over, are you lined up with them? No, you are one block off. Damn, I was going to try to... I was going to try to put, like, green here and then blue here and make the magnet pull it into it to lift it up. But... Nope. It wasn't like any block here that you're lined up with, are you? No, it's all just one in between. The only one that lines up with this is this one. Is it possible? Turn that off for a second. Is it possible to Pull this ahead of this block. That's kind of convenient. That works out in my favor. Saves me from having to reset it. Um, I was going to try to pull it backwards. Into it, like I was trying to do here. I have to do it quick, though, because the... Uh, I kind of figured that would happen. Maybe if that wasn't in my way, that would work. So I'm going to redrop it and try again with just the... Um, just the green cube, and let's see if that works. It could work either way, actually, if I get it to just hit it. Right? Because that's high enough to get up there. Hey, what happened to my, uh, cube in here? Where'd you go? Oh, you're there. You gotta go forward first, of course. That's gonna screw me a little bit. I think the problem is I have to get this off first. And then... Get it to go back? See, if I had this drop... If I had that drop just one block before, I think it would have would have dropped down, and then I could have just kept it going. I was right there. I think it'd be easier for my brain if I just redo that. Because then I could just drag it back and not have to worry about anything. Yeah. That's better. So then I'll get the blue. I'm not sure what the hell that's even going to do, though. Oh, I should let it drop, shouldn't I? Huh? I thought that was lined up. Was it not? Do I just have to push this forward one? Oh, I guess I do. No way. Okay, that should work. Just don't tilt over, please. What is that doing here? I genuinely have no idea. Oh wait, it's gotta hit the blue. Wait, I can just rotate this, can I? Yeah, okay. I was a little worried after I fucked it up completely. Oh, 
Um, so what changed? Because I didn't notice it. So if I take this away... Oh, that's open now. Top, isn't it? Or was that always like that? Let me confirm. That was always open. I don't know what the hell that did. So if I move this, does that stay does that stay green? Because I don't know if that was green the whole time. I don't think I need that anymore, right? So if I leave, I can pop up the cube again onto that. A green cube onto like a blue here and leave because I cannot wait to get rid of you because you are just so annoying and loud. No matter where I put you, you just make constant noise. Oh yeah, that's definitely the height for that. All right. Uh, rotate this again, I think. Or would it even matter? No, it definitely has to be rotated because it's not lined up. So green? Yeah. I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, wait. Oh, I might have to do my other method to get it up here first. Wrong way. Wrong button, I mean. Why well, I'm doing it with that one? Oh, it's the wrong one, anyways. Good thing I stopped at one block short. Okay. Drop it. Almost on it. Okay, I just need to get like one block. Perfect. Okay, now if I do this, it should drag me to the end of the room. That one... Oh, you know, I could have got that one now that I look at it. I could have just turned that... I could have just turned that sideways. And then uh, did the method of popping the cube up and got it. Oh well, too late. yourself into the incinerator you knew the second you woke up here i know you knew it our fingers are crossed behind our back go don't listen to him he's crazy he's lying i don't know get in the shuttle listen listen to me you're a hero everyone's out here waiting to talk to you no no what the hell are you doing stop it Someone special on the line for you. It's me. 
Oh my gosh, you're okay. I knew you would do it. I knew you would, but... Just come home now, okay? Please, just come home. Here's something I never thought I'd say. The president wants to talk to you. Go ahead, sir. Well, thank you just doesn't quite cut it, does it? You haven't just saved the lives of every person on this planet. You found a life we thought was lost forever. Captain Jonathan Burns of Shuttle 919. And Captain Burns, now we know you're out there. We will not rest until we bring you home, no matter what. I assure you, you are found. As for you, you may have had your doubts through all this, but you persevered. In life, we don't get proof until it's done. That's how humanity achieves great things. By having faith in the possibility of good. I think that was the most coherent sentences I've ever heard Biden speak. So uh, they're not worried about all that space debris just going to hurtle towards Earth, I guess. Because it's in between the moon and the Earth. <laughs> so what do I think of Cube? Well, I think I said most of it in the earlier chamber. You know, it's it was kind of dated when it came out. It was average when it came out. It's still pretty average. I don't think it's anything special. I'm probably not going to do Sector 8, which is like challenges. And there's this also tough going, whatever that is. Like it says I could start a new game. Maybe it's like a challenge mode or something. But on top of it being not that interesting, I'm also kind of out of time to make anything else. So I will be back maybe in October. Because I think this should go... If the videos are scheduled out correctly, close to October anyways. So it might even be that long before I make another video which will be continuing the Talos 2 DLC. But yeah. Cube 10th anniversary, just average game. Nothing crazy. I like the aesthetic of Cube 2, but I also don't like how it takes away from the original atmosphere. I got it for free on Epic, so I really can't complain, can I? So yeah, I'll see you next time. <laughs>